Today, you can have legal stem cells now. My low point was being told that Cruz would never see. That crushed every, every bit of anything, any drive, any fight I had left in me. Fight. For a short period of time. The high point is on the flip side. Um, <laughs> to my lowest point, is that when Cruz finally did see his first vision, which was, you know, the bird, um, that was probably one of the greatest moments of my life, just knowing that. It, it was a, I guess it was a combination of a few feelings. Um, just complete, complete, Being grateful, um, I was humbled. I was just ecstatic, and I have to be honest that there was a little bit of, ha, we showed you in there, <laughs> you know. The fact is it is full of great materials such as stem cells, and we can actually take the blood from the umbilical cord under sterile technique, isolate the stem cells by way of magnetic bead technology, we have magnetic beads that have attached to them antibodies that we have these antibodies that are specifically uh, geared toward the surface antigens on stem cells. We can I, actually identify a stem cell uh, by this type of antibody attachment and to that antibody we attach a magnetic bead. So when we put the antibody and magnetic bead into the blood, the antibody goes to the stem cell picks it up and attaches itself and now we have a stem cell with an antibody with a magnetic bead attached to it. And when we put that through a column in which there are magnets surrounding, the, the magnetic beads are then attached to the sidewall and the blood passes through but the stem cells stay in this metallic uh, magnetic tube. Once when I place the stem cells at the the part on the spinal cord that is being injured, those stem cells are going to get the connection with the living nerves in the spinal cord. I exercise every day and I see that I'm getting better and better and I'm making very good progress. My son's been to Mexico two separate times for uh, umbilical cord stem cell transplants. Where in Mexico and who? Uh, Tijuana, Dr. Ramirez. and. Uh, He's a nice guy down there that uh, you can go down and you can get injections of um, vocal cord stem cells. And uh, he, he legally does it. Oh, it's a license. Yeah, he has a license and it's legal. And he's actually he's been doing it for well trained for many years many and years, trained in Germany and other places where vocal cord stem cells are, you know, they used as uh, you know as a medical treatment for traumatic brain injury and other things. Kind of hard to believe that in a country like the United States we could be, uh, you know, we could be kind of behind in technology, but. Clearly, uh, my son is showing between uh, hyperbaric and umbilical cord stem cells to be making progress. Remember, before the treatment, I could barely hold a pencil. Uh, that was June 1st. After the treatment, uh, within uh, by the end of June, I think July or June 26th, I started doing uh, writing my name. And, and I was testing it about uh, twice a week on a pad to see how well my writing was improving. About the third day when we returned from um, Mexico, seeing Dr. Ramirez, I, n I did notice right away his speech, his walking. Um, his, uh, he could point with his index finger, where before he had it cramped for a while. It's a very good uh, thing to have a healthy baby because we know that the genes are normal enough for a normal baby and whereas if you take for example aborted fetuses as some uh, of our competition out there the, the people that are doing stem cells who are using fetal tissues uh, when you abort a mother at the age of at, at six weeks of pregnancy you don't know what the genes are whereas what Dr. Ramirez is doing uh, what we're doing is looking at the baby and we have a healthy baby. We know that the, the genetics uh, of these cells basically uh, are normal. It was amazing what happened. Every problem disappeared. I got energy, I got motivation, I am busy, I am sleeping well. Everything is like 
I really could say I'm 40, that's how I feel, if not 20, you know, maybe, but I really feel, I feel that the body is healthy and new and doing what it is supposed to do. It is absolutely amazing to myself, you know. I woke up one morning and was able to see. I could not only see in general, looking out the window, I could see the flowers in the springtime, the grass. I had a cup of coffee with my wife. It was the first time I had seen her in a couple of years. And in detail, my eyesight was keen enough at that point, not only to see her eyes, but to see the color of her eyes. I stopped having all these muscle spasms. And I thought it had to do with me just not moving as much because I was kind of resting a lot, but they really stopped completely. In fact, I had my first muscle spasm about a month ago now. Um, and it may have to do with me doing more, more rehab work, but it's been that length of time. I've had zero problem with my bladder. I've been able to never get up at night anymore, and I've been able to go my four or five hours without having to go, and I don't have that urgency problem that I had that people with MS typically have that problem. And my little one over there was telling me, Mommy, Liz is getting off the bed. And I'm like, no, she's not. Mommy, Liz is getting off the bed. I'm like, no, she's not. She's all the way in the middle. She goes, no, Mommy, Liz is off the bed. She had her knees on the floor. Her body was on the mattress, and she was picking herself up. And I walked in, and I saw her. I'm like, Liz, where you going, you know? And right away, she just smiled, laughed, giggled. I mean, it's amazing. All the patients are improving a lot. Some ones are cured. Cure? Cure. Like what? No more medicine. Since we've been home, Mr. Upton is feeling fantastic. His wife said we needed to find an antidote to, to reverse some of the effect because he's feeling so much better. My heart is pumping better. I'm feeling much better. And uh, I keep, hope you know, the, this November I'm going to be 85. I don't, don't feel more than 40, to tell you the truth. Like thousands of others, I'm going to Mexico for treatment. Perhaps I'll see you there. Thank you for watching. You feel okay? Everything will do all right.